With just a few weeks to go this morning, we continue our preview of the Be More Healthy Expo. Larry Collins is streaming live from Northeast Baltimore with a look at the Civic Works Tiny House. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, guys. That's right. It is almost time for the Be More Healthy Expo. I, for one, am excited. You know, thousands of people are going to pack the convention center. So it is preview time, and we're talking about the tiny house, but it has a very big message. Rodney joining us this morning. And now, Rodney, we got the tiny house behind us. What exactly is it? Well, the tiny house is a laboratory for uh, recycling, sustainability, um, green energy, basically, and it's also a tool in our job training program. Now, I know there's very special materials that go into creating it. Tell me a little bit about what goes into the tiny house. Well, there's a lot of uh, special materials. We have high efficiency windows with low E glass. Uh, they're uh, insulate, double insulated. Uh, we have uh, cedar siding and yellow pine siding on the inside, which is uh, farmed, so a sustainable material. We also have two-part foam insulation, which is a very high energy efficiency insulation. It also adds rigidity to the house. And we have a cool roof on top, which uh, reflects solar radiation in the summer. And it's also a latex product, so it's environment friendly. And why is a project like this so important? Well, this project is is all about uh, uh, energy efficiency, you know, uh, and it was also a job training program for our AmeriCorps students who uh, helped build Excellent. it. Excellent. So right. it, it, it echoes the, the message of our organization. All right, Roddy, thank you so much. All right, a reminder, Be More Healthy Expo coming up just a few weeks away. We're talking Saturday, March 19th, of course, at the Baltimore Convention Center from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. It's a good time, but it's also a time to get healthy and learn a lot of, lot of ways and a lot of important organizations out there to keep us all safe and healthy. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Larry. Thanks, Larry that you can see when you visit the expo and when we say tiny house how tiny are we talking about here Larry well it's a tiny house with a very big purpose we'll find out exactly the dimensions of it really soon we've got Tom joining us here and Tom we're talking about how this house is powered it's it's kind of unique right yeah so one of the great things about this tiny house is that it can be used on or off the grid so what that means is that if you're in the city you can be connected to the local utility so, you know, if you want to do that, you can do that. But if you want to take it out into the rural area, into the mountains, then you can do that as well because we have these solar panels that uh, allow you to generate your own energy. So these solar panels, they produce 200 watts of energy, which is enough to power most of the things in the tiny house. And most people know that solar panels are a... They're a renewable source of energy. They're very sustainable, and they, um, you know, there's just a great thing to have on any house, and they're really great for this one as well. Um, and in addition to these solar panels, we actually have a solar-powered ventilator um, separate from that. So in order to keep the tiny house, you know, comfortable, mm -hmm. ventilated constantly, this is a great way to do that. So you don't always have to be hooked up to power for that as well. Nice. Another. A uh, great sustainable feature we have in this house is this is a tankless hot water heater. So, you know, most people, when you think about a hot water heater, you think about a big old 60 gallon tank. So instead of that, um, we have this tankless form. So as the water is coming out, it's being heated. So it doesn't have to, you know, you're not constantly heating up a big tank of water, but it's just coming up, it's just heating up as it comes out. Nice. All right, so the, the question we want to know, we call it the tiny house. How big is the tiny house? <laughs> so it's, a, it's 20 feet long, and it's 13 and a half feet tall. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's big enough to comfortably live in it, but it's small enough that we can take it from event to event and show it off for people so they can see all of the sustainable features. So awesome. that's been great for us. Awesome. Tom, thank you so much. And Absolutely. one of the places you'll be able to see it, of course, is the Be More Healthy Expo coming up Saturday, March 19th, of course, at the Baltimore Convention Center. It's from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. And it's just a good time. You'll get to see things like that. You'll get to meet all the Fox 45 on-air personalities. You'll learn some things like hands-only CPR. It's a good chance to learn the things that are available in our community to keep us all healthy and safe. Back to you guys.
Absolutely. It's amazing how many people come together to uh, right. give out information at our mm -hmm. expo. It's but a good you, time. Can, you can have the whole crew in that house at one time, right, Larry? I mean, you kind of have to take turns. We could all it. fit in there. The whole really? morning crew could fit in there and be warm because it's cold outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. We'll see for sure with just a few weeks to go this morning we are continuing our preview of the be more healthy expo we're redefining downsizing here larry collins is streaming live from northeast baltimore with a look at the civic works tiny house good morning larry Good morning, guys. That's right. It's a tiny house with a very, very big mission. We got Rodney back with us again this morning, and we're talking about some of the interesting things that go along with the tiny house. And I understand this barrel right here is pretty important for the ways you guys are working on sustainable living. It, yes, it is. It's a water collection barrel, uh, depending upon whether you're in the city or even if you're in an off-grid application, you can collect water from the roof rainwater, uh, store it, uh, if you used it with the water filtration system, you could use it for your drinking or shower water. If you were living in the city, you could collect it uh, to water your plants, wash your car, whatever. Uh, Mother Nature's free water. Now let's talk about this porch here. Well, our porch is, um, is made so that we can uh, take it apart and fold it up. It can be transported with the house. Um, the hand railings and steps would be site specific depending upon where the house was located. But if you wanted to uh, move it uh, after a year or so, you could just take apart the steps and take lift the deck out and fold the metal support frame up and take it right on with your house. Nice. Rodney, thank you for bringing with us this morning. Of course, it is the tiny house. You'll have a chance to see it at the Be More Healthy Expo. That's coming up Saturday, March 19th. You guys know it is a big weekend, one of the biggest weekends for Fox 45. A chance to come down, meet the on-air personalities, get some health screenings done, see the tiny house. That's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., of course, at the Baltimore Convention Center. You can see at the Expo and we say tiny. How tiny are we talking about here, Larry? Good morning, guys. Well, I'm 5'8", and so that gives you an idea of how tall it is right there. 5'8", like on a good day. I guess it might be being a little generous with my height. Becca, how, how big is the, the tiny house? The tiny house is 200 square feet, and so we've packed in a lot of living into this small space, as you can see. Absolutely. We've made our way inside now. So let's talk about how this is powered. We've got lights. We've got everything going on. How is this powered? So how it's powered is actually one of my favorite things to talk about. Um, as you notice on the outside, the solar panels. So that's one option for powering mm -hmm. when you have sunlight. Um, being absorbed as a source but we also have a couple of backup options okay. so underneath this seating area you'll see um, a generator oh, okay. right there so that generator is allowed to power the house if there isn't any sunlight available and then next to it you'll see two battery sources so what you can do is charge the house up with those battery powers so that when you don't have a generator access or the sunlight then you can power the house what you'll see right here as well is this huge plug. This is what you can use to power it to the utility. So if oh, you wanted okay. to plug it into the city's electricity, that's an option as well. And then one of the fun perks of the house is this thing right here. So we have a pedal, and this generates power as well just by pedaling. You can use your hands or your feet. Oh, you'll yeah. notice wow. that it turns the light right on. So we've thought of all the different efficient ways that you can power your home. So what this does is you can power your devices on it. So let's say you're limiting your access to the energy and you want to just use sunlight or something like that. You can turn all the lights off, turn all the power off on the house, and just power your utilities and your devices on this pedal power. So you can oh, plug that's your impressive. phone up. Yeah. You can plug your phone up, you can charge, you can use your laptop, you can put it under the desk and just get a great workout while you're doing your work. And what you'll see here is, um, as I mentioned, the battery power that powers the house, it tells you exactly how much power you have. So when you see it going low, you can definitely know to charge the house back up. And then we have USB ports here that you can plug your cell phone into and other um, items that you want to keep charged up. Nice. Now, really quickly for this, will this hold a charge or do you have to continually go and go and go? You definitely, it's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those more intensive um, workouts. You have to keep it going to, in order to use it. So we don't recommend using it on things stationary, mm -hmm. but things like char um, battery charges for your laptop or your, oh, for your phone. Oh, that's awesome. You can continue to power and then when you stop, it still has that charge available to it. All right. Becca, thank you so much. Of course, you can see all 
all of this at the Be More Healthy Expo that is Saturday, March 19th. It starts at 10 a.m., goes till 5 p.m. at the Baltimore Convention Center. You can see the tiny house. You can come out and see all of our on-air on -air personality. You can get some health screenings. Just some time to be much more healthy. And I guess I might need to work out to get ready. Look at this. This is a great way to do it. So this is a way I can charge my phone and stay healthy at the same time. Back to you guys. I Shed bet you if it. people shed light on it. Shed some light on the uh, physical situation. I, people would stop <laughs> binge watching TV yeah, stuff yeah. if they had to pedal That's their right. way. Or that could be a great way to be in shape. No, it could be. Right. And Larry, that brings that was the best I shape of my life. I through Fuller House this weekend if I had to watch it while doing <laughs> that. You're cycling through Fuller House. Oh, Larry. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about you being so excited about Fuller House. Wait, let's let's start there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> A lot of people were excited about that. It's and I thought it was a one-time thing. I didn't know it was a series. Like, it's more yeah, than one episode. Apparently it is. All it right. was all the talk of the newsroom this morning. <laughs> all right, but that brings us to our question of the day. And no, it's not about Fuller House. What do you do to conserve energy at your house? We're going to take your calls about that in our next hour. You can also go to foxbaltimore.com and tell us what you think by sounding off through our Facebook or simply send us a tweet at foxbaltimore. Hashtag Good morning, guys. That's right. It's a tiny house with a very big purpose. Shekana joining us now. We are here in the kitchen area. And so we're talking about the things. You guys have really made this thing into a beautiful place. Yeah. So what kind of materials went into making this kitchen? Um, Oh, well, right now you guys are walking on cork flooring. And if you look to the right here, we have like these beautiful cabinetry air. Um, so this is right here made out of plywood and also bamboo. Um, bamboo is a rapidly producing material that grows like a wild weed. So it's a plant. Most people think that it's wood, but it's actually a plant. Please feel this, touch this. It's nice. pretty hard, isn't that it? Is it's nice. durable. Yeah. So this is actually recycled paper. It's recycled paper and it's really great for all of your your kitchen paper. needs. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. It's paper. Yes, it's very durable and it's also non flammable as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And this right here is the refrigerator. Now let's talk um, about the refrigerator. We all want to be good stewards of the environment. What's the best way for us to be energy efficient with our refrigerators? Well, we definitely encourage those to put their refrigerator on 40 degrees and to keep it packed because keeping it packed allows your refrigerator not to use as much energy and cold keeps things cold. So so just keep that in mind. So keep it packed. I have no trouble keeping it packed. I keep a lot of food in my refrigerator. I eat a lot. Yeah. So just about the showers. Well, how can we be energy efficient when it comes to that? So here in the rear area, we We're have... We're going to let a photographer scoot on yeah. in there. We have a shower area, and with the shower, we have a low-flow shower head. Most standard shower heads uses about 2.2 gallons of water per minute. With a low-flow shower head, you're using 1.2 gallons of water, and the air replaces some of the water so you still get some of that pressure. Now, you guys also use, utilize dual flush. What is that all about? So, right here to the right of the tiny house, again, this is very compact spacing, essential for all of your needs. So, you have two types of flushing, one which is stronger than the other, mm -hmm. so that you are able to use the water necessary for your needs. Awesome. All right. Civic Works has really put a lot of work into this. It is the tiny house. We're going to maneuver around right here. It's tiny, but there's a lot of space. It's really spatial. There's a bunch of and a big camera going through here so we're not giving just how much justice but a lot of space you want to see this up close and personal go to be more healthy of course you know it's coming up march 19th mark your calendars now it is from 10 a.m to 5 p.m at the baltimore convention center along with coming into the tiny house you can get some health screenings you can meet all of the fox 45 on-air personalities and you can make sure you have all the tools and resources you and your family need to stay healthy safe and also be good stewards of the environment back to you guys I'm impressed. I, I want to see it up close when it's at the expo. It's like half a garage. I mean, it's mm -hmm. kind of a way of a traditional two-car garage. It's like half of it all packed in there. All right, all right Larry, thank and you. And she gave me permission to pack my refrigerator, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, well, this brings us to our question of the day. What do you do to conserve energy at your house? We'll take your calls about that a little later in the hour. But in the meantime, you can go to our website, foxbaltimore.com. You can sound off through Facebook, or you can send us a tweet at for the environment. Look at that tiny house right there. You're going to see that at our Be More Healthy Expo. If you can do it, it's great. But what about the little things that you can do every day? A live shot right here of the entire house. Well, this brings us to our question of the day. What do you do to conserve energy at your house? Our phone lines are open right now, 410-481-4545. Give us a call. Let us know what you think. In fact, right now, I think we have Mike on the phone from Parkville. Good morning, Mike. 
Hey, how you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're doing quite well. So you saw the house right there. Larry Collins is covering it. But what about your house? What do you do? Do you have any uh, hacks or any tricks that you do to keep uh, energy bills lower? Yeah, I think at this day and age, if anybody is not replacing all of their light bulbs with LED bulbs, they're missing out. I mean, to have an old incandescent 60-watt bulb that can now pull something like 6 or 7 watts instead right. of 60, do that between 25 and 30 light bulbs between your home, you'll save a lot of energy. That's Good a great point. one. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go to our Facebook page. I think someone on here mentioned that. And first mm -hmm. person, Josiah said, buy LED light bulbs. So that's an easy one. We're doing that in the studio. We're going in the transfer, and you can see the differences here and feel the difference, really, with the heat. Chris says, I heat with 100% 100% cooked mobile meals, then use the microwave to reheat them. Freezer is kept full at the, all the time with ice, replacing the deer as I use it. Oh. A little he likes deer. Yeah. Some venison. All right. Maurice says, solar panels. Simply put right there, Maurice. And then Nita says, uh, unplug everything that don't need to be plugged in at night. If it's not being used, unplug it. All right, there's some <laughs> tension and there, though. And then Barb says, I walk behind my husband, turning lights out that are not needed. It is daylight out. It is a bad habit. I see money when electric is used all of the time. My husband does this to me. Barb, I'm not on your side, I uh, have to say. It drives me ever, crazy. Have you ever had one of those moments that. where you're like, I can't believe I just said what my parents used to tell me? <laughs> I had one of those moments like a couple months ago with my daughter. I'm like, get back down here. Turn it on. Get back down here. All right, now go back upstairs. Turn on back down. And made her do it a couple times. My dad did that to me, and I said I'd never do it, and I did it to my daughter. You're one of those Sorry, people. Sorry, Megan. Yes. No, I believe in trying to conserve it, but I'm I'm in that room. I'm working in there. I'm turn the light oh, off well, in the other different. room. Yeah. Oh, no, he turns it off. I'm standing there. All right, the daylight is not always enough. I need that other light. Coming up, our Your Voice cover. With just a few weeks to go, this morning we are continuing our preview of the Be More Healthy Expo. Larry Collins is streaming live from Northeast Baltimore with a look at the Civic Works Tiny House. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Patrice. It is a tiny house, but with a very, very big purpose. Jay joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks Good for morning. being with us. Yes. All right, so it is just a little chilly out this morning, but yes. it's nice and warm in here. What are you guys doing to keep it so warm in here? Yes, it's so warm in here because we have two different types of insulation, and this is why we left it open mm -hmm. so that you can get a rough idea of what it looks like. But because of our dual insulation, it keeps the warm air in and the cold air out to go along with our windows. And our windows are double pane. And that also keeps the warm air in and the cold air out. And it's more energy efficient because it makes us not have to turn on the heat as much in the winter time. Nice. All right, so what other fun features do you guys have here in the tiny house? Well, we have our LED lighting, mm -hmm. which is two cents every 24 hours. And it's more energy efficient because the incandescent light bulbs are 18 cents every 24 hours. So that 16 cents is a great deal. Oh, that's huge. So you said two cents every 24 hours? Two cents every 24 hours. And if you use the lighting on a three-hour basis on each day, you can have one bulb up to 15 years. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so I understand this power strip is something you want to talk about because it, it really helps with conservation. Yes, so our power strip, we love to use the power strips because it prevents us from doing a thing called vampire energy. Mm -hmm. And vampire energy is when all your appliances, such as your microwave, your toaster, your cell phone, even your television, when that light is still on, even though it's off, is still using energy and we don't like vampire energy right. so that's why we use our power strips so that we can plug all the appliances up and shut it off at one time all right jay good stuff all right of course this is built by civic works and it is fantastic you'll have a chance to come in check it out see all of this find out how to save money on your energy as well at your home to talk to these guys at the be more healthy expo that is march 19th of course that's a saturday as it always is go down to the baltimore convention center from 10 a.m to 5 p.m. a chance to learn to tour the tiny house to get some health screenings meet some of the fox 45 family and just have a good time and learn some very helpful tips to stay healthy back to you guys all right that music will get you going right yeah we're talking about the be more healthy in fact in just a couple of weeks thousands will be filling the baltimore convention center for our be more healthy expo larry collins is streaming live from northeast baltimore though at the Civics Works Tiny House, one of just the many attractions as you can see at the Expo. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Tom. That's right. Elisa is joining us this morning, and we've been spending our morning here really in this amazing tiny house that has a big, big purpose. And Elisa, you're going to talk to us about the Baltimore Energy Challenge. What is this all about? Yes, the Baltimore Energy Challenge. First of all, thank you guys for coming out mm -hmm. this morning to talk about our tiny house. 
Um, here at the Baltimore Energy Challenge, what we do is we educate Baltimore City residents about energy conservation. We offer free energy upgrades to people's homes, apartments, or businesses, meaning we come out and we install energy efficiency products to help make your home more energy efficient. And it's free of charge. And it's free of charge because we are nonprofit and we have nothing to do with bg and &E. No, I know a lot of ears are perking up when you say free of charge. Yes, free. If I want to get in on that, how do I get in on that? Well, what you can do is just give us a, a call at 443-869-2614 and just schedule your free installation and someone will be out within a week or so. Oh, that's a good info. All right, now we've got these bags, these kits here. What are these kits? Walk us through these. Okay, well, these kits are what we actually use to entice people to take advantage of our program okay. inside the bag you will get a nine watt LED light bulb which is equivalent to a 60 watt it costs you about two cents per 24 hour nice you get a toilet tank bank no, wait, 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 what is this? A toilet tank bank. You fill it up with water and you put it in the tank of the toilet so it gives the illusion that it's water there. So you oh. save about a gallon of water with each flush. Oh, that's ingenious. I love that. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Um, we also have an LED nightlight, which is light sensor. When the lights turn off, the light turns on. And when the lights turn on, the light goes out. So you never have to worry about unplugging it. Oh, this is perfect. This is yeah, perfect. Cool. And then we just have a little bit more information about who we are and what we do and energy saving information. All right, Alisa, thank you for spending some time with us. These are all this information. You can learn all this stuff, get those phone numbers, and even take a tour of the tiny house at the Be More Healthy Expo. That is Saturday, March 19th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Baltimore Convention Center. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to take mental notes this morning with all the good information we've learned here. So make sure you check out the tiny house when you go to the Be More Healthy Expo. Tom, back to you. That's right, Larry. Staying, staying with the whole free thing. Be More Expo, March 19th. It's all started. We've got just a few weeks to go, and this morning we are continuing our preview of the Be More Healthy Expo. Larry Collins is streaming live from Northeast Baltimore with a look at the Civic Works tiny house. And I, Are you on the porch now, Larry? That's right, guys, on the porch for now. Let's head on back in where Jay is waiting to speak to us this morning. Good morning, Jay. Good morning. Thanks for coming back with us this morning. You have a table full of fun things to talk to us about, some very important things when it comes to being a very conscious person when it comes to energy. Yes. What do you have? Walk us through this. Okay, so after, um, well, because we're uh, funded by Office Sustainability and Civic Works, we are able to do all free installs to Baltimore City residents, okay? So we come into your home and give you an LED light bulb which is two cents every 24 hours. Then we have handheld crank uh, radios over here, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And that's the an AM, FM, and seven different weather channels. So no matter what happens in the world, you can always stay in tune to what's going on. It also has a flashlight and a glow strip or piece to it so that you can see where it's at. Then we have our uh, LED flashlight. It takes only 1D battery. Then we have our low flow shower heads. We have the regular one and the handheld one. This is 1.5 gallon water usage each minute, which is a very good uh, water saver. Then we have our faucet aerator, which is 1.2 gallon of water usage. Then we have different type of Belkin strip. Well, this is our Belkin, uh, Belkin timer mm -hmm. and our 24 hour timer. And this prevents us from having vampire energy. Also to go with our power strips. We have our smart strip, our regular strip, and that right there is an 11 hour timer. So after 11 hours, no matter what, all usage is stopped. Oh, see, those timers are so important because I am, I must say, the vampire energy comes out of my house. I'm leaving stuff on, unfortunately, all the time. Yes. Now, you do these installations, they're free, right? Yes, they're all free. Um, no requirements. It doesn't matter if you're renting or if you're owning or how old you are. You just give us a call. We ask you a couple of questions, see what your needs are, and we do our free installs. All right, so how can folks get in, in on this? Because this is something a lot of people not only want to do but need to do. Okay, so you can either see us at an event and sign a pledge there or you can call us uh, at 443-869-2614 mm -hmm. and we're here to serve you. Here so is, All right. I appreciate it, Jay. Thank, Thank you. you. Civic Works working hard for all of us. One of the places you know you could sign up. Come see these guys at the Be More Healthy Expo March 19th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Baltimore Convention Center. You'll get to come and see the tiny house and get some of these great free items to get them to come install in your home. Back to you guys. I guess the tour is pretty quick. When you think about it. It's a tiny house. There's a bedroom. There's a bathroom. There's a the kitchen. <laughs> but right, there's, there's so many door. things to look at in terms of how, how they created That's it. True. So it That's will true. take some time. All right, All right Larry. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Took us five hours. Yeah, look at that. In just a couple of weeks, thousands will fill the Baltimore Convention Center for the Be More Healthy Expo. And Larry Collins is streaming live from Northeast Baltimore at Civic Works Tiny House, one of the many attractions that you could see and walk through during this uh, Be More Healthy Expo. Right, Larry? That's right. Good morning, guys. We've got Earl here with us, and Earl is the COO of Civic Works, and you guys have been very gracious to let us be a part of what you're doing and show off the tiny house. And we're looking right now. We've got some young men hard at work, and that's a part of what you guys do. Well, talk to me about the youth involvement. Everything that Civic Works do it does is due to the power of the youth of Baltimore City coming together, and they built this entire thing. It's so nice to see the tiny house when it was just an empty trailer before being built up into what it is. And I've walked through with the youth before, and they've pointed out. I, I did that board. I did that some of that work over there. And so really it's it's about job skills. It's about soft skills, how to show up one time. It's about construction, measuring, but it's really also about confidence and putting the confidence that they now know they could build an entire house. And let me promise you, many of them didn't think they could before. For it to travel, we take the uh, decking off. So that's what they're doing now is installing the last of the decking whenever we get to a site to put up uh, the tiny house. And thanks to the Office of Sustainability, the Baltimore Community Foundation for funding this mobile energy education center, we will be taking it around to different parts of the city to educate folks on saving energy. And Youth Build and AmeriCorps is what provides us the opportunity to have these young folks get paid while they're getting training, while they're working on their GED for some of them, and getting just really a confidence and uh, life skills that right. they need. Excellent. Earl, thank you so much for having us this morning. Of course, you can see all that you saw this morning, and if you missed some of the segments, make sure you make your way out March 19th, that's a Saturday morning, of course, to the Be More Healthy Expo at the Baltimore Convention Center, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can meet all these guys out here, learn about getting some ways to conserve energy in your home, but you can also get some health screenings and meet some of the Fox 45 on-air personalities, but more importantly, you can learn how how to keep your family healthy and safe. Back to you guys. All right. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Well, we had a warm Sunday, and those temperatures are sticking around today, but they could bring a shower.